Hey, what's up everybody? BDO44 coming at you another video updating by the moment. So I spoke to XS Telecom and they had actually already canceled my subscription. I can keep the device. Cool. So now I got a free tablet for no reason. Of course, I would have to get service for it, but I got a tablet so I can sell it or keep it or whatever. Praise God. And I downed the tablet, said it was cheap this, cheap that, but I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to have a free tablet. Now, what I need to do is uh, contact... AirTalk Wireless and make sure that they complete my application for what it is that I ultimately need to send it, which is a damn phone, so I can get away from T-Mobile, because T-Mobile is a devil in business form. So at this point, I'm going to uh, obviously try to call them and try to see if I can complete whatever needs to be completed so I can get what it is that I actually asked for, um, which is a phone, man, a real phone, a uh, Samsung GS9. Or something the equivalent if such a thing exists for me what is this we placed a request adjustment of $56 plus type of applicable to your account that's T-Mobile telling me they're gonna make me pay the rest of the money later that uh, whatever I think that's what that is I don't know they tried calling me back again while I was on the phone with excess telecom so that's crazy how they let you keep a device like that for free even though I'm not gonna stay with them I was so ready to send that back but that is a really cool blessing so yeah, at least me going to pick that device up wasn't in vain because it does get to stay in my possession. I am frustrated, man. I'm really frustrated. All I really want is a phone. Or even to keep this one if I can just get the hell away from T-Mobile. That's it, man. I need T-Mobile out of my life like I need dirt off my back when I take a shower, man. It's that bad. I am down in this company with every voice I have because they make life much more stressful for people when they're going through difficulties and they don't allow you to switch to assurance upon those difficulties that is the problem you got subsidiaries and companies that give away free phones government phones you got metro you got all kinds of stuff when you know somebody's going through a process what should be happening there is you cut off their their contract with your main company and segue it into another company for which you're getting all the money from anyway why that's not something they do is the main reason why i'm not messing with them anymore because they'll continue to put you in further debt with their main company. When you tell them that you're homeless, you tell them that you're in circumstances where you need to build paid in increments and all different types of stuff. They just add on more tax, more tax, more tax, more tax. Why don't you just slip me over, take my account and slip it over to the poor man's account for which I would be able to be able to handle. And I would stay with you and you would still have me as a customer. And when my life get better, I could slip back to the main account and get right back in action. But y'all ain't going to do nothing like that. Why don't y'all upgrade our phones automatically? When you know I'm spending $133 on a phone that's two and three years old, you should be looking to upgrade my phone off of the strength that you know there's new phones out and you want to keep your people happy. Why don't you do that? Because you're a devil in business form and I don't like you. So I'm getting rid of y'all and I'm telling everybody else to get rid of you too. And that's where I'm at with that. And if you're a celebrity, you want to do business with them, I'm telling you, they're no good. They are no good. Customer care calling me right now. For what? For what? You can hang up in my face again? Let's figure it out. BDL44. Thank you all for watching. No